A glittering and meaningful occasion. And all week long, the football chatter has centered around this game and these talented teams. Which one will outwit the other in a stadium both packed and passionate? So many questions to be answered on a day of destiny. It's Newcastle United. They take on Borussia Dortmund. And the action is next on EA TV Live. Hello and welcome to the northeast of England. We're here at St James's Park. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. And what we have for you tonight is live Champions League group stage match day one action. It's Newcastle United facing Borussia Dortmund. Well, the first game of the group is so vital. You just can't get off to a losing start. This could be a tight battle today, Derek. And here's the Newcastle formation. Nick Pope gets the nod between the posts. Sandro Tonali plays alongside Bruno Guimaraes in central midfield. And the attack is led today by Alexander Isak. Daniel Malin. Newcastle recovering possession well. Well, no stopping him. Almiron. And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Elects to go short. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Clearly took a touch on the way out of play, so a throw in to come. Not much time to make up his mind. Always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game, but you could make a strong case for this man, I think, Stuart. What are you expecting to see from him? Well, he's very much a confidence player, and at the moment his confidence must be high. Oh, Stuart, they could be in here! He can't hold on to it. Well, no damage done. And cleared away. Top class defending. Trippier. Krug, Malen with it. Interception to snuff out the danger. Well, a really good run. Can he play it in? Can he create an angle? Joel Linton. Now with Almiron. Well, they keep the ball moving. Well, Dortmund have it once again. Fulkrug. Ben Sabaini. And over the touchline for what will be a Dortmund throw. Chan. Well, he's going to be disappointed with that pass. Sandro Tonali. It's with Joe Linton. Miguel Almiron. A terrific defending to stop them progressing. Hummers. Rami Ben Sabaini. They're relying very much on their passing game in a bid to take the lead. Spot on with that tackle. Decisive in the tackle. And a throw in here. Sandro Tonali. Trippier now. Very quick thinking there. Oh. 
Ben Sabaini. Trippier has lost possession. He's using his strength to good effect. Isaac. Tonali with it. Decisive pass. Timely intervention. Well, you can tell what the fans think of that decision. They're certain it should have been a penalty. Decent position for Dortmund to be in. Marlon. And now Chan. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. They might be able to get in now. Trippier. Can they forge ahead? They do! And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. Let's take another look, and you have to say the defending is so poor, that's far too easy. The keeper had no chance there. The ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1 0. Doniel Malin. And getting close to the half time interval, it's Newcastle in front. Stuart, interested to get your assessment so far. Yes, they've defended really well all over the pitch. Their work rate and discipline has been excellent. But any drop in tempo and this lead could easily slip away. Well, no way through. And the counter-attack is on, options available. And finally, up a cul-de-sac. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. Almiron. Sandro Tonali. Decides to shoot. And no more time left. That will conclude the first half here at St James's Park. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, I'm sure the manager will be delighted with him. He'll have drilled it into them to keep their focus, keep playing through to the half-time whistle, and it certainly put them in... Into the second half, then, with Borussia Dortmund trailing. Can they summon the right response? Well, nothing productive, really. Space for the Magpies in the wide position. Very alertly winning back possession. Trippier. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw in. The cross is on. Isaac. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Borussia Dortmund showing good weight. Brandt. A good and fair challenge. Burn. It's with Joe Linton. And he was in the right place to intercept. Using his physical strength to shield it. Anthony Gordon. Takes it on! And what a magical save it was! A 
and Dortmund will go to the bench. Now, how about the short corner? Teammates in the middle. A strong hand on the ball. They'll repeat the trick. Corner again. With the owner of the blue car registration, BG04 DOM, please return to your vehicle. Your lights are on. Short corner taken. Played into the box. Great defending. Can he finish? Great block again. And well positioned to clear. Well, Newcastle have completely bossed the game in the last 15 minutes and have been threatening with it. Surely it's only a matter of time before they get another. Well, Dortmund have it back now. Oh, that's an expert piece of defending. Joel Linton. It's with Joel Linton. Nicely saved. <laughs> Going short. the cross work out for them well it's actually ended up being easy meat for the keeper we're well, using the space really well but now can they push on but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending Almiron Almiron and with that, the attack fizzles out. Just 20 minutes remaining now. And teammates around him. And Newcastle come away with it. Sandro Tonali. Wilson with it. Nice looking pass. He has time to play it over. Wilson. And they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. Schlotterbeck. The Magpies looking creative. Oh, he's given us away inexplicably. Trippier. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Hummers. Trippier. Now with Almiron. Trippier now. And back to Trippier. Oh, how about that for the last line of defence? Daniel Malin. Well, at first glance, you would think a strong possibility of a red card. Let's see. And that will change the equation quite profoundly, Stuart. Absolutely, but it's a poor challenge. The referee had no other option but to send him off. Substitution it is for Dortmund. Decent effort, but the keeper read it all the way.
Nick Pope. And just five minutes remaining. Isaac. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. First chance. They have to be bold, Borussia Dortmund, in these circumstances. Royce. Oh, body in the way, crucially. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Time is not on the side. This corner could help their prospects as they look for an equaliser. Well off target. Didn't have an awful lot of space to work with, however. well to win it back what can they do from here Daniel Malen return to Rice he cuts it back and he's kept it out fully stretched somehow reaching it Might be their final opportunity to draw level. And he's fired over the corner. Good clearance. And that is all. Borussia Dortmund have gone down here on match day one. Not exactly what they had in mind to begin the Champions League campaign. Well, it's not the start they wanted. It puts them under a bit of pressure going into the next game. They need to bounce back now. Well, there's a good reason why we're highlighting him. Really dominant in attack in this game, Stuart. Yeah, he deserved to score the winner today because he was a real handful. He's running off the ball and awareness of space were excellent. Very impressive.